Hey, I'm Jamie Dean, and today we're going to see how to measure dry ingredients precisely. It's very important when you're doing baking that everything be super precise. That's why I'm not the best baker in the world. Check this out, you'll be surprised. Most people, this is the way you measure out a cup of flour. Go in, go to the top, use a knife, nice and level. That's the way I've always done it. That's the way everybody does it. Let's put it on a kitchen scale and see what we got. This cup weighs four and three quarter ounces. Four and three quarters, okay. That's the way that I've measured dry ingredients all my life. Okay, this is the way that you should do it. You fill for the second spoon. This is gonna allow for less air and less settling. Because a little bit of flour can really turn your cake into a dry, not great experience. Let's see what we got here. Well, look at there. That's only four and a quarter. So as you can see, this is four and a quarter ounces. Now, if you think that's not gonna make a big difference in your recipe, check this out. We put almost two extra tablespoons of flour into your recipe. And brother, your grandmama did not bake that cake for you to mess it up and put an extra half ounce of flour in. Take it from me and take it from her. Do it the right way and save yourself some time and trouble. Thanks for coming back, y'all. I'm Jamie Dean. For more tips and recipes, go to PaulaDean.com.